I'm about to get very real with you. Because so many of you sexy single ladies are wasting your valuable time on this beautiful planet with guys who just clearly do not want to be your boyfriend. So in this video, I'm gonna be going over seven signs, and these are real signs that you can look for in any new situation you're in that he just doesn't want to be your boyfriend. Keep watching. Hey there, Adam Little here from SexyConfidence.com where I help you create your love story. And if you enjoy videos like this, all designed to help you confidently find love, make sure you subscribe on YouTube or if you're on Instagram, make sure you follow me at Sexy Confidence. Because what I wanna do is give you the real deal information that you can use to be able to know whether or not a guy is actually investing his energy into you and potentially being your boyfriend. And I hate to say it because I know all of you sexy single ladies might judge me a little bit, but before I met Jessica, I was definitely in kind of casual situations where I did not want to date the woman that I was talking to. And by the way, I was never dishonest about that, but looking back on it, there's definitely a few situations where if I were single now, I would definitely not be in that relationship because I was definitely leading her on. So let's jump right into the seven signs that you can use today. Sign number one is that he treats the relationship word as if it is a curse word. I am not kidding. There was a time in my life where I would call the relationship word the R word, at least to my friends. Now that's weird and ironic, of course, now that I help so many of you find love, but there are some guys at certain phases of their life when the thought of being in a relationship or even talking about relationships just makes them want to run in the opposite direction. So if you're talking to a new guy and you happen to talk about past relationships or where you see yourself in five years and that happens to be maybe you're married with children and he happens to completely lose attention from a conversation, stares off into space, then there's a strong possibility he's just not interested in that. Sign number two is that he never initiates to see you or even talk to you. Now I think this should be an obvious point, but it's sometimes not so obvious when you're in one of these kind of half relationship casual situations and you realize looking back that, wow, I literally was the one pushing this thing forward every single step of the way. Now there's a quote by Victor Hugo that says, initiative is doing the right thing without being told. If a guy is into you, he's obviously going to want to initiate. Actually, in fact, like when I first started dating Jess, all I had, everything I was doing in my life was holding back initiating and trying to pace it because things were moving fast and we were both very excited. But I was really trying to hold back that initiative because I was initiating so much. Sign number three is that he doesn't take you anywhere to any place where it might be perceived as a date. I once had an old buddy back in the day who was the type of guy he dated around a lot and he wouldn't see a woman outside of either his home or her home because he didn't want to give her the impression that it was actually a date. Now that might sound extreme, but if a guy is trying to keep things casual and not turn into a relationship, he's not going to want to give you that impression that it's a relationship. So he's not going to want to take you out for dinners. He might not even want to take you out for drinks. He's certainly not going to be introducing you to his friends or wanting to meet your friends. Sign number four is that he doesn't allow for any progression in the relationship, especially once you've had sex. Now when a relationship develops, naturally things progress, right? You get to know each other more and you want to spend more time with one another. And then as much more time goes on, your lives actually align with one another so you have a very clear vision. However, if you're dating a guy and after you sleep together, you notice that there's nothing else being done in the relationship to push anything forward, you don't find that anything is growing in the relationship, well, then chances are he doesn't want to be your boyfriend. In many ways, if a relationship isn't growing in some way, shape, or form, it's probably dying. And that doesn't mean, by the way, that things have to progress super fast, but if you're finding that after you've slept together and you're not in a committed relationship, nothing has changed in the relationship after three to five, I've seen casual relationships go on for years. If you see that things aren't progressing, then it's time to take a real hard look and realize he just doesn't wanna be your boyfriend. Sign number five is that he has no interest in exploring your world. Now this goes beyond just not wanting to meet your friends or your family. I think that's kind of an obvious, but if he's not even trying to understand who you are, some of your challenges in life, what you're going through, your past, then clearly he doesn't want anything to do with your world. 
When you're in a healthy relationship, what tends to happen is your lives actually integrate within one another because you learn about one another and you actually grow from each other. And when you do integrate your lives, that's where the sum of each part really becomes greater than the whole and the relationship really grows. Sign number six is that his lifestyle does not reflect a relationship whatsoever. If this guy loves to go clubbing on Thursday, Friday, Saturday night, even Monday night, because why not, and he plucks his eyebrows more often than you do, then chances are you got a problem. You want to tread cautiously when you're around certain types of guys, especially when their lifestyle is totally focused on meeting other women. Now that's not to say that those things won't change if a guy meets the right type of woman. It certainly did for me. I was never a club rat and I really don't pluck my eyebrows, but I certainly went out a lot before I met Jess, but once I met Jess, my attention from that lifestyle very, very quickly focused in on her. And if you're finding that that transition isn't happening at all, then chances are, I hate to say it, but you're probably a side piece. Yikes. And finally, sign number seven is that he tells you that he doesn't want to be in a relationship with you or that he doesn't want to be your boyfriend. You know how I always say that actions speak louder than words in relationships? Well, that is true, except for one time. And this one time when a guy tells you that he doesn't want a relationship, then you have to listen to him. I don't care how sweet he is or how much he wants to see you and how great it is, how great the connection. When a man tells you he doesn't want a relationship with you, he goes through that hurdle to actually be upfront clear with you, listen to him. So if after watching this video, you've realized that you're with a guy who just doesn't want to be in a relationship with you. I am sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but it is time to say that four letter magical word, which is next and move on to the next guy. And I want to give you a special free gift that's going to really help you do that. It's a free webinar. We'll leave the link in the description or in my profile, and it'll teach you how to make a man pursue you and be able to get you back out the door, finding the right type of guy so you can create that love story that you truly want. And also, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe on YouTube and don't forget to check us out on Instagram at Sexy Confidence, where we have a ton of content coming out. This is going to be a really big year and I cannot wait to help you create your love story. I'll speak to you very soon, you sexy single lady. Bye-bye.